what do I have in my inbox? Ooh, an XK8. It looks like I'm going to be doing another review uh, from Black Arrow. Thank you, Black Arrow. Let's get this review done, guys. See you in-game. Hey, guys. Shadowlands back with another review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a gun that I'm actually... Well, I'm not necessarily terrible with it, but it's just not a gun I like very much. Um, I, it's not really even that bad of a gun. It's just not one that I never really cared for to do. Uh, as you guys know, it's already the XK8. It's not the tactical. It's the regular... Uh, the tactical, and all, actually, I prefer this gun over the tactical. In all honesty, I just feel like it's easier to use. I don't know why. I mean, technically, the other one has better stuff statistically, but maybe it's the recoil pattern. I don't know. I prefer this gun over the other one. Um, that's just my preference, though. What's nice about this gun is it's relatively cheap. It's about fifty-four hundred for seven days, which is nice. It has an ammo capacity thirty of ninety, which is just typical for a assault rifle. Uh, you get this uh, CSM-3, so it's a relatively early gun that you unlock, around the same time as the FS-2000 uh, CSM-1, and you also get like the M200 and the TPG around these ranks as well. Those are snipers, if you guys didn't know. The popularity in this gun is relatively low, at least that's what the wiki says, but in all honesty, I see this gun a little more often than that. It's not obviously the most popular gun in the world, but when you play in Papa and a lot of other maps like that, a lot of other uh, games like that, and servers... You see it more often in those kind because with the lower recoil, this gun is actually very good. It has very low damage drop off and it's actually very powerful. It has a damage of 39, portability of 59, rate of fire of 74, accuracy of 86, and recoil of 68. Now this gun is fully customizable in the Gun Emporium, so the damage is actually 42, which is very, very high. Portability is still 59, the rate of fire jumps up to 77, accuracy to 89, which is around up there with the G36 and the recoil goes up from 68 to 71. So the recoil is a bit high, actually. And this is the fully customized version of it, so you're seeing it at its maximum potential right here. The accuracy is actually very good. The first, second, third, when you tap fire, they'll kind of go in like a little circle. Like, draw yourself a little tiny circle. Uh, just where you, And when you scope in, picture the circle that you're seeing the scope in, and then without removing that circle from where it is on the screen, start tap firing as fast as you can, and that's about where the uh, bullets will go no matter how fast you tap fire. That's about where they're gonna go. The first shot will go literally exactly where you want it, but the thing is it has the AUGA1 scope, so it has that very weird scope to use. Now honestly, I'm good with that scope because I grew up using the AUGA1. After I got hacked about a year and a half ago, I the first thing I rebought was the AUGA1 Black Ellie, and uh, yeah, so I managed to get that, which was nice. And I didn't buy back the G36 Autumn Valkyrie until I got the Autumn Valkyrie the following fall, which was really nice. But anyway, so the damage of 42, this thing actually has a very low damage drop-off, which is really, really nice. So uh, the damage drop-off isn't really that bad. This isn't a bad gun by any means. I'm just really bad with it. Now, I will say the burst mode on this gun is one of the more useless burst modes. It's not exactly a great burst mode. It doesn't help a lot. Um... And I know I'm going to say this just as I'm getting a headshot, but it's true. This gun is actually quite a bit of a headshot magnet. It's almost like an SMG in that sense. Um, it, it, it gets a lot of headshots. I mean, for real, it does. It has burst and automatic firing modes. The burst is a three-shot like most. It's not a two-shot like the AN-94. It's customizable with a magazine and a suppressor. Uh, so, a suppressor, I mean, consider... Uh, uh, I mean, suppressors wouldn't really be a terrible idea because it already has such high power. Unless you really don't want to diminish that over the uh, course of a long map. I mean, that's really up to you. I honestly wouldn't mind putting an S1 suppressor on this to reduce recoil, just because the recoil is kind of high at 71 when it's customized. Even at 68, uncus excuse me, still drinking a Pepsi here. Um, even at a recoil of 68, which is uncustomized, that's still relatively high. Uh, so reducing the recoil by 10%, which would be 6.8, you're reducing that to about 62, so that's actually a very low recoil, which is very, very nice. It's more like an SG556 type recoil, so that's nice. It has the pre-attached AUGA1 scope. But as far as how the gun actually looks, aesthetically, I think it looks kind of retarded. I mean, the gun looks a little like an F2000 model with a telescope on top of it. it doesn't even look like a scope, it looks like a telescope. Um, and it just looks, and it has like this little stick sticking out of the front of it where the bullets are supposed to come out of it. It just looks kind of retarded to me. It's kind of like an L85 mixed with an FS2000 and then have a telescope on top of it. That's just kind of what it looks like to me. So... I mean, it is a bullpup rifle, so it, what bullpup means is the trigger is in front of the loading bay for the bullets. Um, it doesn't load the bullets in front like a lot of guns do, or through the trigger. But, yeah. In real life, this gun is still the XKA. Do not confuse this with the XM8. They're two very, very different guns. The XM8, in my opinion, is much, much better than this. Now, one thing that the uh, XKA Tactical is known for um, is the fact that it has probably one of the best silencers in the game to put on a, uh, 
assault rifle. And it does retain the burst mode, and the spread is basically the same as this, except a little bit lower, but it does have a very different recoil pattern. So, although I can't really describe the recoil pattern because I haven't used it in a while, I do know for a fact it is very different from this one. So, if you're comfortable with this one, you may be a lot more uncomfortable with the uh, tactical like I was. I bought the tactical after trying out this one. I loved this gun for a little while. Like, I really got good at using it. I'm terrible at using it now because I haven't used it more than, like, a year and a half. But the XK tactical has a very different recoil pattern than this and it did not agree with me. So, I wasn't exactly too like upset about losing it when the hacker deleted it but eh so I mean whatever my choice now the one thing that I always remember this from is because it came out in the same patch as Ghost Town now this was around the time when they were releasing sets of guns and sets of maps at the exact same time like a map would come out and a gun would come out uh, the last one of that entire list to happen was Oil Rig the map I'm playing on right now with the T2 Oil Rig and T2 came out at around the same time, within the same week, if not in the same patch, I don't exactly remember when, but the XK8 came out with Ghost Town prior to this one. I think this was, I think Ghost Town was the map to come out right before this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they haven't done that since, they haven't dually released a new NX Standard weapon with a uh, map yet, they didn't do it with Slaughterhouse or Piazza because those were initially Clan War maps only, so they did not release any, uh, new weapons with those, at least not at the same patch like they did for the uh, XK8 and the T2. And the T2 marked the start of the entire like list of SMGs coming out, like the Barapi and so on. But anyway, I know I haven't put music in a uh, like review for a while, so I'm going to do that now, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. It really helps support me, and I will be able to... Uh, uh, oh, I'm just kind of being a dick there. Like, we're having a pistol match, and I whip out an assault rifle. But... <laughs> Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, you guys will get to see a lot more. Uh, I might be doing a montage in the next week or so, so you might get to see any one of those. Just depends on what I have time for. Um, I got classes and everything, so I'm not exactly always free. But yeah, anyway, life happens. So I will see you guys in the next review. See you guys next time. Shadowlands out.
shit. One minute. Wait. What? Who are you calling? Oh, no. She didn't just hang up on me.